Uh, why we're doing this so I this is a follow up. So I did an Instagram 101 training. I'm not sure if you watched it already, but just like the basics of using Instagram for marketing. Um, some of you are making ebooks. Parisa, you have your own business already. So I just wanted to help support you in using Instagram because it is a really, you know, useful tool mm -hmm. uh, to create passive income. Yeah. So after I did that one, then people were like, well, I know, you know, what you're saying is great, but like, how do I actually use Instagram? So this is going to be talking about like the buttons to push, what all about different buttons do, how to make reels, how to come up with posts. And then I'm going to do a quick little tour of Canva, which is an app that is used to make um, logos, graphics, ebooks. You can use it for a whole host of things and it's really user friendly, especially if you're not really tech savvy. Cause I, I wasn't, I, I would say I'm tech savvy now with only because I've been using it for so many years, but it's really user friendly. So we'll start with the basics. And I just want to say the first thing that you want to do is really figure out who are you talking to and who is your customer? Because I'm sure you hear this a lot. If you're talking to everybody, you're talking to nobody and you'll, it, it'll be really hard to connect and build that trust factor with everybody because you're not relatable to everybody. So you want to get really, really, really specific. And I actually um, have a resource that I'm going to upload after this call for you to really nail down. Um, I'm in a course that's teaching me how to make a course. So um, they gave us this resource and I'm going to share it with you, even though that may be not quite legal, but you know. Um, but it, what it does is it really asks some great questions for you to get really specific on who your ideal customer is. So you really want to think like, what do they do in their day? What do they do for their free time? What type of books they read? Um, what do they listen to podcasts? Who are their favorite Instagram accounts? Um, are they a part of groups, um, that maybe you could also join to get more, um, information around the type of things that people are interested in, um, what inspires them, what are their goals, what is their job, how many kids do they have, how old they are. Like you really want to get down to it and paint this picture and hint, it's most likely going to be the person that you were a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, um, is really usually who you're going to resonate and connect with the most. Because that's what you, you've grown through something. And that's usually sort of what your, what your service is. And even, you know, you're, you've got clothes, but, you know, there was a whole process in coming up with the idea and why you started. And there's emotions behind it, right? Sorry, I have to just plug in my computer one sec. So if you're having trouble getting specific on your um, ideal customer, then you are just going to go back and think about who you were in the last year, five years, 10 years compared to who you are now and talk to that person. So that's the very first step before you make any posts on Instagram, because if you're just making just random posts just to try and get some followers, it's going to fail bad and you're going to get depressed because you're going to be like, oh, my God, no one's liking my stuff and no one's going to like it if you're just being really general. So get really specific. Then you can start making posts. And I know reels can seem intimidating. Stories can seem intimidating. So stories, I'll go really basic here. Stories are the things that you see at the top of Instagram. Yes. The rings around them. Yeah. Those are snippets of people's day. People use them for different things. I just share our, our general day to day. Mm -hmm. And why they're important is because they're kind of like a behind the scenes. Like if you're just posting and there's no story there, people don't know who you are unless they actually know who you are. And you can't keep marketing to your warm market. Your warm market are the people that your friends, your family, people that already know you. They're going to, you know, if they haven't already bought from you, you know, they're probably not going to buy from you now. So that's why, you know, it's okay to have a large warm market because maybe eventually they'll come around, especially when you get more comfortable posting and connecting with them. But really, you're wanting to share a bit of your life so people know who they are, because there's a lot of people in the world. And a lot of the times we're doing things that 
thousands, if not millions of other people are already doing as well. So you have to stand out and not really reinvent the wheel, but you have to be relatable and people have to start to build that trust in you. So stories is where you do that. And um, at first, you don't really have to show your face, but what you're going to do is at the very bottom of your Instagram app, I know this is very, very basic, so I apologize if you already know this, but we're going basic. No, I love it. Okay. <laughs> at the very bottom is a few different buttons. So there's the home, that's the home screen, the yeah. search function, which I never use, but apparently it can be used to your advantage if you do it properly. The plus button, which is going to be your main button. And then the play button, which is reels, where you can get lost okay. for hours. <laughs> and then on the very other far side is your profile. So when you click them, different things will happen. Yeah. So we're going to go to the plus sign in the middle. Yeah. And it's going to pop up. And so I'm going to make this. See if I can just get this focused. Is it going to focus for me? No. Okay. So oh, there, 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 there. Okay. So. At the very bottom, you're going to see right now it says story that's highlighted, but to the left of it is post. Yeah. And this is a sliding thing, the slides. So if you slide over to reels, go to reels, if you slide over to the live, you could do live video, but we're going to talk with stories first. Okay. So stories pop up. And then on this, so it's my right hand side, I think it changes, but on the one side, you're going to see different functions. You're going to see letters, which is text. Uh, an infinity, infinity sign. Oh, and yeah. An infinity sign, which is boomerang, which mm -hmm. is a photo that repeats itself. And then another sort of layout text box. So I've never used that. I don't know how you use it. So just don't. <laughs> I don't use that. I think it's to showcase different things. Um, so what we're going to do, and then there's an arrow. You're going to hit the arrow down. Yeah. And it'll pop up hands free and dual. So hands free is the one that I use all the time. So hands free. Now it is showing direct to camera. So when I'm looking at mine, it's looking at my face. But at the very bottom right hand, you can use a flip and it flips to the to film what's in front of the camera. Okay. You can reverse it to you, reverse it to the camera, reverse it to you. So when you're talking direct to camera, it's obviously pointing at me. And now you can simply start hitting record and it'll start recording right away. Or if you hold it down for three seconds, it starts a timer. So oh. what that purpose does is let's say like, I don't, I don't want to look like I'm like, Oh, I'm fumbling. I'm going to do a story and I'm going to fumble my phone. And then I'm going to set it down like that. Mm -hmm. You're going to hold down the camera, the, the play button, Put your camera down, get set up, and then you're already ready to go. Like, yay, hi, my name's Rebecca. Welcome to my behind the scenes. And it just gives you three seconds to get set up so it looks a little bit more professional. Cool. And then <laughs> you can start talking. Now, at first, the talking face to your own face feels really awkward and really uncomfortable. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> you think it's like, oh, it's just me. I can just talk to me it's kind of awkward because you feel like people are watching you and no one actually is. So that's what you have to tell yourself is like, no one's going to see this unless I hit post. Cause it's not going to film right away or post right away. You, you record it, you have about a, it, it plays for a minute and then it shuts off. So you can stop it at any time or you can film for the entire minute. And then what happens is it cuts off and it makes you start re-recording another story. So every story, it used to be only be 15 seconds. Now it's one minute long. So you can just, you know, for your very first story, if you've never made a story face to face, I would literally say, hi, it's me. I've never used stories before. I'm just here to introduce myself. This is going to be really awkward. Like just talk through how uncomfortable you are and just say, you may see more stories for me. I'm just going to share a bit more about behind the scenes of my life. And uh, I just want to appreciate it, you if you're here. And what would you like to see more of? something really just basic like that and being awkward uncomfortable um nervous sweating blushing is actually really intriguing for people because they see you showing up without trying to be perfect people are done looking at perfect we all follow the accounts that are perfect for inspiration slash making us feel like crap but people really resonate with 
real life and they want to see the real you. They don't want to see you all done up with your makeup. Like that's why I show up like half the time I look back and I'm like, Oh God, I didn't know I looked like that, <laughs> but who cares? Who cares? People would rather see you in your real life than made up and filtered. Now you can at the, oops, I forgot to share this part. <clears throat> When you're in your story, so you go in your story, you click the bottom arrow so you can go to hands-free. That's the most common one um, to do face-to-face -face or in, on, direct to camera. But you'll see you can also slide back and forth through these weird face things. These are all filters. Okay. I never use filters. And okay. I have to be honest, when I see people always using filters, it makes me not fully trust them to be honest because <laughs> I, I, and not I, I, like to say like oh like what are they hiding from me it's like you know like because i i would i i don't i'm not judging you if you look like you have bags under your eyes or if your eye if your mascara isn't done and it's just like sometimes they're cute and funny right that there's nothing to get wrong but from my own opinion and personal experience i suggest not using filters people want to see the real you when you're talking to them mm -hmm. um but there's different you can you can totally play around with the different effects there's weird funny effects i just wouldn't go over the top with them because people can get annoyed with them um so and then throughout the day you don't always not i would i would not recommend always just talking to the camera you want to share a variety of things so you can take some videos of you know your kids playing if you if you're okay with your kids being on there you can take a picture of your food, a video of your food, a video of your cooking. You can take a video of like your sweatshirts. You can take a video of um, and show like, you know, some books that you're reading, whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be a million things. It can, you can start with just doing it three times a day. One mm -hmm. face to face talking, one picture of like something that is relatable to your business that you're trying to promote. And one just of like your day to day life. Then you can start doing other things like with boomerang. So boomerang is where you can take a picture of something and it just does that repeated effect. So that's good for food pictures. It's good for product pictures where you don't really want to talk and you just kind of want to share a photo, but you want to create a little bit more effect to it. I would use a boomerang. So that's stories. So start really basic. Introduce yourself if you never have. Then I would start with updating three times a day. Because also what happens is every time you update, so you'll see at the very top of your Instagram, the list goes on and on and on and on, depending on how many follow followers you have. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are right on your homepage when you open up, those are the most recent. So that's why you don't just want to post once because you'll just go all the way to the back of the list because lots of people update way more than that. So that's why I would do one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. And then it kind of bumps you up into people's feeds at different times throughout the day. And start there. Just do aim for three and three different things. One camera, face-to-face, -face, one product-based, and one um, everyday life. And then start there. And you'll see you'll get more comfortable. You'll get more savvy. Um, and then you'll start to see your views increase a little bit. And you'll see what, you know, if, you know, and also try to create, like, a bit of um, routine in the sense of, people come to you to see what you're doing, right? Like, I don't even know if people really care that much, but I'm up every morning and I'm showing that I'm up and I'm making my pre-workout. Like people are probably, half people are probably annoyed. Like, oh my God, she's doing this again. And some people have told me, they're like, I absolutely love watching you when you just wake up making your pre-workout. And you're not going to please everybody, but do what feels natural and what you want to do. Remember, this is you. This is your storefront. That's what I, I think I said it in the first training. If I didn't, this is your storefront. This is where you're showcasing your product and think of it as you're trying to draw people into your store. So you need to have different ways of, of marketing yourself and showing who you are. Yeah. So that's stories. Definitely start doing stories. Um, because I think, I mean, that's kind of where I go a lot is because I like to see behind the scenes. So next we're going to talk about posts. Again, you're going to go down to the bottom of the screen. You're going to hit that little plus sign. And to the left of the stories, you're going to see post. And here, when you go over to post, it's going to pop up your camera roll. So that's where you're going to be sharing like a picture of your ebook, a picture of your clothes, a picture of your business. But the old days of Instagram where you can share a cool picture and it gets lots of likes are gone, unfortunately. And so you need to be a bit more strategic when you're just doing a post. 
So when you open up post, you'll see your camera roll. And then in the middle of the screen to the right, there's a box within a box and a camera. So the camera will take you to your phone camera and you can take a new picture, which I don't recommend. Um, or you, you can hit the box. So you hit the box and then it populates you 10 spots with circles that you can post 10 photos. Okay. And this is what you're going to want to do. You don't have to do all 10. But that creates what's called a carousel post. And it's carousel because it slides through. So it'll sh when people come to your feed or when it pops up in their feed, it'll be the first picture. Um, and then there'll be some circles at the bottom that shows them that, oh, there's more. And so they're going to slide. And why this is important is because the Instagram algorithm, if you've never heard that word, algorithm is basically an AI tool that Instagram uses to get people to stay on things longer and to see where people are spending their most time. Mm -hmm. So if you just post one photo, people will very quickly swipe up. They'll say, oh, that's a nice picture. They'll either like it or not and move on. But if they see you have more, they're going to be like, oh, what else is on that thing? And they're going to slide. And Instagram is counting how many seconds this person is spending on your post. And that's positive because Instagram will then push your post out to more followers. Really? So if you make a, yeah. So if you make a post and people don't pay any attention to it, Instagram will actually not even show that post to like 95% of your followers. It's insane. No way. That's crazy. Even if your post does well, I don't know the exact figures, but it's like only half of your followers actually see that because there's so many accounts. They can't possibly show every follower, every post of yours. It just would be impossible and it would be overwhelming and people would get annoyed. So that's why... The, it counts when people like your post, when they comment on your post, when they share your post, and just the amount of time they're spending on your post. So that's why reels get have gotten pushed further. But also now what they're realizing is carousel posts, which I just showed you is the multiple pictures, are actually getting pushed as well because people are sliding through. Now, how you can use this even more to your advantage, and I'll show you in Canva, is you don't have to show a picture. You can show a slide deck of words so you can make a quote you can make a text and share something and make it instead of putting it in a caption under a photo you can actually put the caption on a colored background split it up into 10 slides and post that so that actually is going to get a lot of people looking at it for a long time if they're finding it valuable because they'll be first reading through sliding reading through sliding through so um these are really great posts to mix up with within your reels and mm -hmm. you i honestly say say if you're like reels are intimidating i don't even know where to start start with these carousel slide deck posts sharing about your business your product so what you could do is you like, you know, show, have a slide deck, like check out my new collection or check out um, this information with, a, with words, slide, a picture of whatever you're talking about, slide, words, and you can mix it up with words and pictures um, and get people to really interact that way. Um, and in the caption part, this is where, you know, you don't want to go too wordy. You want to keep things really short split up the sentences like don't write one big long paragraph because people these days if it's too wordy they're just like I can't I'm just gonna swipe up right Me so you too. have to split it up and yeah you're just like this is too much <laughs> you yeah. want to be able to skim it so you want to split it up like you know I only write a couple sentences at a time and then space a couple sentences space mm -hmm. um and not go too wrong but here's where it gets a little tricky is that sometimes you know, you can make a really long caption and people will stay on there and read the whole thing. And then that counts as time. So this is going to be where mm -hmm. you're new to posting on Instagram for your business. You're going to have to sort of play around and see what works and don't look at anything as a failure. It's a testing ground and you're testing to see what works. And it's just as a way to be like, no, nope, that doesn't work. I'm going to move on and try another strategy. Okay. So be uh be patient and and don't get too hard on yourself if you're not getting a lot of interaction at first um so before we move on to canva and like i said i can do more and more of these calls and actually work through you once you find out your 
ideal customer and you're ready to post, we can do like a live training where it's like, okay, I can help work you through the, the wording and uh, maybe the layout of your post. But sure. um, next, okay, so we're gonna go back into Instagram. We're gonna hit the little plus. We're gonna slide over to Reel. <clears throat> So these are the, when you slide over to reel, it again pops up to your camera roll. So yeah. this is if you've already had a video, but um, most of the time you're gonna be making a reel inside the Instagram app. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go to the camera and then it pops up all these things on the side. It's like, oh my God, what do I do? So <laughs> you have a choice. First, let's start with, um, the, so in the, on the one side, you'll see a circle with 90 in it. If you hit that, you can even do 15 seconds, you can do 30 okay. seconds, you can do 60 seconds, or you can do 90 seconds. Then, um, so actually I should start here. Usually when I make a reel, it's because I am scrolling myself and I hear or see a video, like either it's an audio that I, that I like, like with music, or it's an idea that I'm like, oh, that would be really good. And I'm going to recreate it. This way, what I just showed you is if let's say you're just going to make a talking video and you're going to share it, this is how you'd make a reel. However, we're going to back out of here because this is how majority of you are going to start making your reel. So we're going to X out of there. We're going to go to the reel button. Okay. So we're going to go to the reel button. Yep. And this is where you're going to see all the reels in your feed from your followers and from not followers. Okay. So my first one is this mom baking with her kid. Okay. And she says, welcome to 2023 where you can post a five second video of you making bread with your son, choosing a trending audio and making four figures a day. Okay. So I kind of like that video of her baking. It's kind of cute. That music is actually kind of nice. And um, I could relate what she's saying to my business. So what I'm going to do is cause like, let's just say I, I, I open my app and I like this thing, the very bottom, it's going to be a scrolling, um, text line of the music that's playing. If you click that, it opens up to all the reels that have used this music. And at the top, it says use audio. And so use that audio, you click that button and now it's back to your camera, but in the background playing is going to be that music. So now I am going to just like, oh no, not just like this race. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the clock button and the clock button creates this like timer. And so this way you can just set the timer for the whole sound of the audio or you can scroll it all the way down to like five seconds and then set timer. And now what it's going to do is it's going to film you for five seconds and stop, but it's going to give you a countdown again. It's going to give you a three second countdown. And why that's important is because you want to get time to set up. So let's say I was going to recreate that. I was going to set the camera up and let's say I'm like baking with my, my son. So you hit the, the circle to start recording. It's going to count down three, two, one. Let's say I'm baking. I'm baking. You can hear the music a little bit, and then it's going to stop. Okay? So it's a five-second clip or whatever. Then I'm going to hit the timer again, and I can make another five-second clip. And then it'll change from clip to clip, and it just allows you to get set up. Now, the recommendation for reels these days is like seven second clip. You don't really want these long drawn out ones. People swipe unless it's something that's really interesting. So for you, for example, you want to showcase a sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. You would select that sound, set the timer for seven seconds, set the camera down, push play, and then like show like, hey, look at this new sweatshirt I made, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's it. And you can, in the caption, put like head to the link in my bio to see my collection. The basic okay. is that. Okay. Now, there are, let's scroll up again. Let's find another reel. Um, can you move the camera a little bit closer to your face? It's out of the screen. I can't see. I try to, I try to fix it and then it kicked me out. <laughs> 
my camera in my face like this one um no like um i can see your face but i can't see your phone in your hand oh sorry okay no that's okay um so i'm scrolling now i'm trying to find in, some more inspiration for, to make a reel and you'll see a lot of the reels now are just these videos of people doing random stuff with text and nice music so yeah. that's where it's a bit easier. It's not the days of like lip syncing, although that does happen and you can do that and people still like those if they're funny, but they're more challenging. So I actually think it's a really great time to start showcasing or launching a business and using Instagram because you literally just have to take these random behind the scenes clips of you. It could be you folding your sweatshirts and saying like, you know, I really wanted to start my own business because I'm a mom and this is how I started and blah, blah, blah. And then that's your post. It's like, that could be done in a few seconds. And then once you're clear on who you're talking to, right? Like if you're, if your target market is moms, then you could say whatever you want and say, you know, like I was a mom. I, I want to stay with my kids. I love fashion. I wanted to be use my creative side. So I launched my business of sweatshirts that are, you know, whatever you want to say about them mm -hmm. and post. And the thing with reels, why they're better than posts is because they like I don't follow this person, but she's up in the in my feed. And so you do get more exposure with reels because it's just in the random reel feed. Um mm -hmm. so that's where like it, that's where like you know if you are someone that spends a lot of time on Instagram, use it to your advantage, be intentional about it, go to the reel section, see whatever captures your eye is what's gonna capture your target audience's eye because you're going to be similar, right? So if there's like a nice song with that, with like, just, you never just use that as inspiration, click that bottom scrolling music text, and then set the timer and just send seven seconds of you doing whatever it is. Um, and then a caption, the, the caption is where, you know, I'm still learning so much about what to say and how to say it. And mm -hmm. you don't want to overthink it. You can be really brief. The important thing is really knowing who you're talking to and really knowing what it is you're trying to provide for your people. Right. And um, that's where I, you know, I'm going to post the resource for you to figure out who your ideal customer is um, and then just doing it, mm -hmm. making your first post. And, you know, you can look back at your first post three months from now and be like, Oh my God, I can't believe I posted that, but you have to start somewhere and you can't compare yourself to other people that have been on Instagram for, you know, over a decade and, and, and using it to market their business. You just got to start somewhere um, and go with it and learning through it. And then once you're like, you know, once I, you, you can watch this video back and, and uh, look at like the different buttons and what they do. But once you're actually in the app, you'll see that, you know, you get used to how it works and, and what does what. Um, I will quickly go over to Canva and uh, oh, actually, before I do that, do you have any questions? No, 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 it's okay. been good. Thank you. What's Canva? Is that a. I'm going to share my screen here. So it's canva.com. Okay, can you see this? I can't see you guys any now. Yeah. Anymore. Okay, so this is Canva. It's right up here, canva.com. Um, and it's see, very, at the, the very top says, what will you design today? So, um, what you're going to use it for is social media, mm -hmm. um, to start for now and we'll do Instagram. So see, you can do Instagram post, Instagram story, Instagram ad, Instagram reel. They have all these different templates. So they just have a bunch of templates that you can use. So we'll just go into Instagram post. Mm -hmm. And here is where I was talking about. So on the very left-hand side, there's templates. So this is where I was saying with those carousel posts, instead of doing just a, a, a plain old picture of your product, yeah. you can do it where it's like a slide deck. So I don't know, like this is nice. Hello, Monday. Right? So you can create a few different slides. So let's say you were talking about like your – your clothing, you could say, Hey, I have a huge sale coming or blah, blah, blah. Um, and you can write anything you want in here. So just click it, huge sale. Um, right here, you can put your Instagram site at Miss Rebecca. 
is you is your is your screen doing anything cuz your uh, the screen that i see right now is just on the first page oh you can't see huge sale right now no oh weird yeah it's still on the first page that shows oh now i see it huge sale there we go okay okay <laughs> let me back up then okay can you see me scrolling down yep. here on the left hand side yep. okay let me go back to home then. Okay, so we're back on home. You open up a Canva and what will you design today? So yeah. um, we're gonna see, you can do all these different things, but we're just gonna focus on Instagram posts, which is like, a, it already makes it into a square. Can you see yeah. it changing now? I think it paused again. That, yeah, I see it. It's changing. Okay, I wonder why it keeps making me click that. Anyways, okay. So right now we have a blank page. Yep. And that's really difficult to think of what to do. So we're going to go on the left-hand side. And these are all templates that you can use to make the carousel slides. No so, way. It's so cool. Yeah. And you, all the graphics are done for you. It's just plug and play. So let's do something mm -hmm. that's really simple. I'm just going to do this one right here. It's a quote with some guy. I don't know what this is, but you just make this your own. You can just say like, you know, um, I have a big oops, announcement. Oops. A bounce. <laughs> it is a bouncement. And then, so see how it's like, oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, and, oh a bouncement. <laughs> 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 announcement, right? And then yeah. you can drag this to make it bigger. Um, and then down here, and I'm going to just say like um, slide to next oh. or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And then here on the left hand side, there's elements. So you can put like an arrow. I can put an arrow there. So now it's made an arrow and I'll just put that there. Cool. Right? And then. You can see this button down here. It says add page, yep. add yep. another page. So then it creates another blank page, but with the same color tones. So depending mm -hmm. on the template you use, um, you can find templates that have like basically this, the whole 10 slides done for you in, in the same color theme. Mm -hmm. um, but since this one's blank. We'll go back to the left-hand side, add some text. You can add a heading and then you well, can do more typing, right? Whatever you want to type. Yeah. And then all you do is you just share, you hit that share button and you can download and it will download right to your computer. And wow. so what I do, because, you know, I like to use Instagram from my phone. All mm -hmm. I do is, is I download this um, and then I email it to myself. I have email on my phone. Do you have email onto your phone? Yeah. yeah. So let's say I download that. It's downloading and then it's going to come up here. Oops. What happened to you? Can you still see me? Yeah. And so download. So I have a big announcement. <laughs> okay. So there, this is my big thing. My big announcement with the bouncement. And I'm just going to go into my email and I'm just going to drag and drop this into my email. And then I open it up from my phone, download it from my phone. And then use that as a way to um, share a carousel post. That's cool. So this um, Canva.com thing, it has to be done on a computer? Nope. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can do that on your phone as well. I just wanted oh, to screen okay. here. So, there's a, so, oh, so that's another thing. I, I Thank you for saying that. Because a lot of the time what I do, so I have Canva on my phone. Yeah. I'll create the document in my phone. And I literally just screenshot it. And it saves to my camera roll. Perfect. So then it's a super easy way to load to rate to Instagram. Okay. Like very, very straightforward. Okay. Um, so like, so see, for example, okay, so I, I made that I have a huge sale thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to screenshot that. Yeah. And I crop it so it doesn't have the Canva stuff, right? So now I've cropped it. Save. Done. Save Perfect. the photo. Now, when I go to Instagram, I'm going to hit that plus. And if I slide over to the post, it's already going to be there. Perfect. So if yeah. you save a bunch, then it's just super easy. And then you hit that box, then you can hit, make a whole post of your slides like done like that. I'm so glad you asked me about my phone because that it's, I was like, wait a minute, do I always email it to me? No, I don't. <laughs> well, done right cool. on my phone.
Mm-hmm. So I love Canva. Like even if you're someone that's not really creative and graphic-y, design-y or whatever, it, there's lots of things you can play around with. Just don't spend too much time. Don't like, don't let it take up all your time trying to make this beautiful aesthetic post. You really got to be thinking like, how can I add value? How can I educate um, people? Or that's, that's why like simple is, is, is always more, less is more here. Like yeah. that little, that one I showed you of just like the quote with just a little bit of graphic in the back. It's mm-hmm. way more eye catching than actually the one that says huge sale. Cause it's kind of a lot going on. Too busy. Yeah. So use those okay. carousel posts to just share a bit of text and then maybe a bit of photos. And then for the reels, again, just find some music that you like or a reel and just a seven second clip of you behind the scenes with some valuable information that you want to share and just start there. And then the three stories. That's so exciting. I'm excited. I'm very excited because I do have a page on Instagram called One Love Par. And okay. that one, you know, I just did it with basic knowledge. If you want to have a look, if you have any feedback, let me know. And then I opened recently, opened up a new page. It's called PJ's Art Studio. And that one is the one that I'm going to start professional <laughs> with your advice. Which one is it called? Um, so the one that is active and going is called uh, One Love Par, O-N-E-L-O-V-E-P-A-R. Um, you can have Where a look. Yeah. And then the other one, it just has maybe one pay, one picture, and that's called PJ's Art Studio. I can forward those to you. And which is the one that you want to make public? Are they not public? Oh, sorry. Which is the one that you really want to start to use? Um, PJ's Art Studio. So that one, I just have to basically start fresh. It has okay. nothing in there. Um, that one is going to be more of my custom design stuff. Okay. And like everything, like I have, um, I have. Why are you starting like another one when the other one has, sorry to interrupt. Why are you starting this one when the other one has more followers already? I don't know. I wouldn't do that. No, just keep it. Oh. You can just change the name of the One Love Par to the PJ's Art Studio with these okay. followers. Good idea. Yeah, because yeah. I don't want to have too much pages and then I get all dizzy. No. no. Like, I have too many pages and I it's annoying. But I, yeah. I, I it's too late now. <laughs> I did that before I had better knowledge. Like, I don't even use my podcast page anymore because I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, okay. I share, I, I'm my podcast. So why do I have to have a separate thing? So, um. See, that's why I needed your um, have a look to give yeah. me a feedback because it's always and, good to get a feedback and figure out what's best. And, you know, you can archive some of these posts if you if they're not relatable to what you want to share. OK, um, but people are like, yeah, you already have these followers. I would I would keep with this one and just okay. you don't have to delete. You just archive them. The okay. ones that you don't want share, shared on here and just start using this one. OK, sounds good. Yeah, I think. I should, yeah, update it, change the name back to PJ's Art Studio. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we'll, we'll do another um, training where I'm going to help you guys with your, um, like your profile page where you can really make sure people know why they're wanting to follow you. Like not just saying um, this is a fashion account, right? Like you want to sort of draw people into like, well, why would I want to watch this a fashion, this fashion account when there's millions of other accounts. So yeah. being strategic with that. And then also like you can have your, your the, uh, that's called your handle. So like your one love par, that's your handle. Mm-hmm. But right here in your bio, you can actually use that spot to say fashion designer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then that way people can actually find you like, that's what I was saying earlier about the search function people can search fashion designer designer and that will pop up because you put it right there. Okay. Sounds good. So we'll do another training on that where I'll actually help you with um, what to say in your bio. Cause everyone will be different. Um, but we'll do like a live walkthrough of that. Yeah. Cause in my PJ's art studio, it says part uh, pop art, fashion, private members. Well, I'm not going to make it private anymore. And it says creating fashion by reviving gently used fashion clothing and accessories. Yeah. So we can just tweak that to to be a bit more specific of why people are going to want to be there um, and come up with that. But yeah, 
I would just start switching it over to that one that already has more followers. Sounds good. I will do that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll do this as a to be continued and I'll schedule another one. And um, after everyone has watched this video, then we'll start doing like your Instagram bios and um, making sure those are, are up to par and, and yes. then just more practices with, with actually posting. We'll all do like a live post together. Cool. Whether it be a story <laughs> or a reel or whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. sounds good thank you so much you're welcome if anything else pops up just put it in the chat and i can answer um and then otherwise we'll see you next week sounds good have a good day okay you too Bye bye bye